and whitetail hunting and some of the best whitetail hunting in South Texas. South Texas? Some of the best whitetail hunting anywhere. That's how good it is. You did good. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm, so proud of you. <laughs> so proud of you. I truly am living the lifestyle I've always dreamed of. And not just a lifestyle, I'm sharing it with a gorgeous girl. And we share the same passions. A level of love you can't explain until you're a daddy. It's all of these things tied into a world that I live for, that we live for. A world filled with magnificent creatures and adventure. world I just can't live without. He is unbelievable. Are you kidding me? Kawaii. How exciting was that? How exciting was that? Look at this brown tie. <laughs> oh, he's so wicked. Maybe. He just stood up and looked the other way. The moment we've been waiting for for so long. Better do it. Stealth Cam proudly presents Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey. We are 15 minutes away from the Charco Murano Ranch in South Texas, a place where I shot a giant white tail buck last year and Kelsey never got one. Well, here's the to be continued. We're actually back and Kelsey's gonna continue hunting with her Bowtech bow and we're almost there. My heart's pounding. <laughs> She's nervous because she's sitting beside such a wonderful hunk. Let's be here. Or I'm going white tail hunting in some of the best white tail hunting in South Texas. So Texas, some of the best white tail hunting anywhere. That's how good it is. Emma. Oh. What are you doing? Hey, sweetie. <laughs> She's just as excited as Kelsey right now. <laughs> you know, I, it's funny because Uncle Brian, he's Uncle up front. Brian. He's hunting white tails. What do you do? Kelsey's hunting white tails. I just woke Emma. Emma is hunting white tails, but because I shot such a big one last year, I got like banned from the ranch. I'm not allowed to hunt. All these kids want a chance at a big one. I don't so. think that's why you were banned from the ranch. <laughs> There's other reasons. <laughs> Kelsey. I think what Kelsey was hinting at was the fact that the shot on my buck from the year before wasn't quite perfect. And I threatened to strip down to my briefs to retrieve him out of the water. Phil. Yes, sir. You're gonna see me in my gotch? No, <laughs> we're not going to going through that. What is a gotch? My like my my underwear, my boxers. Oh no, no, no. We we're don't allow that. that on the ranch. That's not <laughs> no, <laughs> speedos neither. Oh man, okay. If the Texans weren't in favor of seeing this Canadian ginger stripped down, the only other way I could show off was to show them that I'm a number five header. That's no stranger to fishing it on. Thank you very much. Well, we're happy to experience it with you. We enjoy you having you here and your wife and. Yeah. It's been a good experience. Boy, oh boy. Anyways, now we're seven minutes from Phil Hunter's house. This is getting exciting. There you are, Hi. Oh, good. Good, good. What do you say, big girl? <laughs> you ready? Uh -huh. <laughs> if you need to practice, yeah. or just get, put some makeup on, or hope it's <laughs> We're going to be at 5.30 or 4 to 6. Good to know. Thanks for the good morning. You know, you know she gets away with a lot of stuff because she thinks she's pretty. So here she goes. <laughs> the first year we came to the Charco Morano, we were coming for the giant bucks. This time, we were still coming a little bit for the bucks, but mostly for the people and the friendships we had made the year previous. It didn't hurt that these same people are passionate about big bucks too, just like we are. There's one. Kelsey's got a new pack. 
of nocturnals and she's all excited about the green color. to hunt with Cody and Kelsey is brought to you by Stealth Cam, Proven, Conquest Sense, the makers of Evercom, Vortex Optics, the force of optics, 10 point crossbow technologies, there is no substitute, Black Eagle Arrows, superior carbon technology, Rage and Squincher. We're just headed out for Kelsey's very first sit. Can't wait to see our first Texas buck. We don't have many bucks here, but when you ever do get one show up, staggered in here lost, he's worth being here for. <laughs> That's for sure. You excited, Kelsey? I'm like beyond excited. Bill's son Travis had been getting some stealth cam pics of a couple really nice old bucks at one particular stand the week leading up to her hunt. And this is where he was taking us for the first afternoon of Kelsey's hunt. We just get into the blind, and I've seen this happen so many times when you're hunting, you have something handed to you, a gift, on the very first day, and you don't capitalize on it. You're like, oh man, this is gonna be a piece of cake, and who knows what I might see after that, but that's your gift for that week or that I hunt. I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> <laughs> seriously can't. And that was Kelsey's gift, I think. We just had to get you down here the second time because we weren't sure about you the first time. <laughs> Yeah, let me remind everyone out there that Kelsey was here for her full week last year and she never saw a shooter. And so a person's got to appreciate an opportunity like that in the first minute of the first day. We didn't have the tripod set up. I didn't have the camera set up. And I heard Kelsey go, oh my God. And I turned and looked out the window and there's this great big five by five with a kicker on his G2 standing there at like eight yards. Good work, girl. Thank you. Good work. I can't believe it. It was no question. The big belly and then the loose skin up front of his brisket, just a, a sure sign of a mature deer. That's why, that's why I do this. This feeling right here. South Texas is so exciting. Oh, I love it here, I love it here. This ranch is amazing. Go find 
That's just not as much as we were seeing before, though. Oh, don't worry about it, guys. It's right there. Right there. Oh, kills! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, he's beautiful. Oh, he is a gorgeous girl. He's a gorgeous buck. Heavy! I love the twos and threes, how long they are. Even this four is long. And that sticker. It is so exciting to come down here to the Charco Morano Ranch and hang out with you wonderful people mm -hmm. and just to experience other whitetail hunters and see how they do it differently from how you do it Absolutely. at home. And it, it changes so much, but one thing stays consistent and that's the passion and the love for whitetail deer. And it's so nice to be down here. It runs very, very thick through this ranch and this family. It's a very magical experience. It very. is. Very special. Thank you very much, Travis. This is a beautiful buck. He is. He, he's going to represent our experiences that we have with you folks. And we'll have him and be able to sit and stare at him in the evenings and just remember the great times that we have with you guys. And man, is he an awesome buck he is. to represent that. Even though Kels is done 38 seconds into the hunt, Brian and Emma are still hunting. And we can just cheer him on from the sidelines now yeah. and enjoy South Texas. You did good. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, those horns right there, if you cut the brow tines off, they make good rattlers. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. Like most of us that are whitetail crazy, the Hunter family has their rituals. Step one, weigh the buck. 210 pound buck. Step two, score his antlers and see where he measures up. And the most important step of all, include the children and enjoy all of these steps as a family. It was these moments that made me miss our daughter Berkeley and made me wish she could have been there to enjoy it with us. Yeah. Yeah, what are you doing? Are you jumping on the bed like a monkey? Go put him away. Oh, he's gone. Well, where? You, when you put a gecko away, where, nice. where it is away? With Kelsey getting done on the first day, the focus and anticipation was now heavy on our dear friend Brian Stevens, who had been hunting a particular buck with the Hunter family for two seasons. A seven-year-old big frame buck with a split G3 they called Rangy. The year before at this same time, Brian had Rangy in front of him for 15 minutes, and never once did the buck offer him a shot before walking away. I could remember talking to Brian on the phone after this encounter and he was absolutely crushed. In hindsight, it's kind of cool things didn't work out because Brian had the chance to hunt him again a year later and he was much bigger. The first morning sit brought nothing but heavy rain until lunchtime, when they came back to dry out. Brian is one of the most patient, focused trophy hunters I know. I think the only thing that comes in front of this in his life is family. And little did he know at sundown, only two miles away, his daughter Emma was having way more luck than him with the 10 point crossbow. So proud of you. <laughs> so proud of you. <laughs> she was like, next. Good job. Very it's good the job. family awesome. reunion. Congratulations.
Okay. Low five, in the hole, you got so. Way to go, girl. <laughs> We're all putting in time in different stands and Emma was out on her own, blazing her own trail. And did you ever blaze one, girl? Wow. When I shot it, my heart was beating so loud. I, I bet you. Else. <laughs> Holy smokes, I can't even imagine, girl. He's a beautiful, big, tall buck. He's got long tines. He's got a sticker point back here. So happy to be here with you. That's special stuff. 42 yards with a 10 point crossbow. And man, did you make an awesome shot. That was cool stuff. And Brian, the procrastinator, has left it right down to the wire. As usual. We still got tomorrow. Yep. Still have tomorrow. That's the attitude right there. Absolutely. This portion of Live to Hunt is brought to you by Yorkton Dodge, proud supporters of our hunting community. Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey is brought to you by Stealth Cam, Proven, Limb Saver, products that work, Mossy Oak, it's not a passion, it's an obsession, Diamond Archery, cutting edge innovations, Walker's Game Ear, protect it or lose it, Cooper Firearms of Montana, and Heater Bodysuit. Last morning, charred to Murano Ranch. Uh, we've had a great trip. Uh, Kelsey shot an awesome buck first afternoon, and then uh, and my, my daughter got a, a great buck, a mature buck, yesterday evening with her crossbow. I know the whole last minute, last day cliche type deal is painted far too much, but when it really does happen, it's that much more special. With the failed encounter that Brian had the year previous with Rangy, and Brian not getting a shot, and then having a year to dwell on it, there was absolutely no way our cameraman Richie could pull Brian off of the very first window that Rangy offered him, so he just sat back and hit record to let things play out as they may. said no one ever. <laughs> I had that bucket 15 yards exactly 12 months ago. For 15 minutes, he tortured me and I couldn't shoot him and he's even bigger this year. That deer will give you a heart attack. When he picks his head up, it looks like a B-52 sitting on his head. That wingspan is crazy. Are you seeing this thing? Yeah. Look at that! That is a deer. <laughs> is that a beautiful South Texas buck or what? This is uh, this is the biggest white tail I've ever killed, and I got him with my Bowtech. And I just want to emphasize these these deer on the Charco Morano Ranch are 100% native, 100% free range. Correct. What an ending to have everybody here and my family and the Hunter family and, and uh, Cody and Kelsey. Travis, thanks again, man. I enjoyed it. Oh, you don't know. Congratulations. You don't know anybody that appreciates this deer more than I do, I promise you. One of my best friends this year lost his nine-year-old boy. And his favorite colors that the Paul Bears wore at the funeral were this royal blue right here. So in his honor, Callum Little's honor, I fletched all my arrows in blue and uh, made this little wrap. It says in memory of Callum Little. And I know as much as he loved hunting, he would, uh, he'd, he's looking down on this and smiling right now, I promise you. 
I love all of you. I love this family. You guys are like the family that I didn't have. So I want all of you kids to really appreciate what you've got. Because most people don't get this. You guys have something really special here. I want to thank all of y'all. Oh, grace of Heavenly Father, I want to take this time to tell you how much we appreciate all the people that you send us and the experience that I'm, that you're being able to expose an example to all the kids that are involved to realize how special this world is because you made this world and we can't imagine what heaven is because you show it to us here in, on earth and all I can say is that the glory is all to you. So we ask that you be with these people as they travel and go home. And please let us all take it in our heart and share it with all the people that we love so that they understand how grace and mercy saves all of us. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 To follow the Live to Hunt team, join us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. To order Live to Hunt DVDs and apparel, go to livetohunt.com. Next week's previews brought to you by Squincher, hydration that works. Next week, we are hunting giant mule deer in the badlands of Saskatchewan with our cameraman, Richie Casement. Over a 20 day span, we cover a thousand miles with great friends, looking for the right buck for Richie's draw tag. A challenge to find the king of the hills with the new Cooper Firearms muzzleloader. This adventure truly is what we all live for. You can't miss this show. Richie! <laughs>